Yeah. Gonna do a little video right quick of something I had already started. I was actually doing a video on something else. It got kind of a bad cut on it, so I'm probably gonna scrap it. I don't know if I can fix it or not. I can probably fix it, but it's gonna be too much trouble to fix it, I think. You hear that thunder out there? It's pouring rain out here. Well, it's slacked up a little bit, but it's still raining. That's why I'm stuck up under this shed. But I was working on that chicken coop over there again. And every time I get to going, something happens on it. So, it's just either, either it's raining or I'm running out of stuff to work on it or something happens. But anyway, I'm going to eventually finish it. You can see I got another pit going right there, that square thing. One of those western fire pit grills. Still got it going. Got a bunch of crap going on. You see I got the tanks over there for finish that gun trailer hopefully soon. But anyway, I had started this project and figured I might as well do a video on it since I'm stuck under this thing. Got to work under the shed. Or try to finish it anyway. But I'm cutting out a sign for our, uh, for our church. And you can see right there I got the Baptist. I'm just cutting this out of old pallet boards. I got the Baptist cut out. It came out pretty good. I got the church cut out. I still got some cleaning and stuff to do on it. I'm not the best on this old scroll saw, man. I, this is actually only the, the, I think the third thing I've cut on a scroll saw. Third or fourth thing I've cut on a scroll saw. I'm not the best on there. But the name of our church is Gray Baptist Church. This is just a cardboard template. I gotta draw it out on this board. And if you watch my videos, you may remember I used this same template when I built the pit that I gave them. I used this same template I drew to cut the letter, the name out in steel and mounted it on the pit. If you see my videos, if you haven't seen it, you can go back and see them. But I just got to cut this gray out. Got the Baptist out. Got to do some cleaning on the church. I do some cleaning on it with uh, sandpaper and uh, files. You can kind of see on that R I got off some. I do get off on it, man. I, I just started with hard stuff. I figure it's easier to, or be better to start with hard stuff to try to learn this scroll saw good than it is to start with the easy stuff. It's kind of hard headed sometimes. But anyway, we're going to go ahead with that. Dang, look at this spider trying to get away from me. Spider's running from the rain. But anyway, we're going to try to cut this out and move on from there. This is kind of what I drew out to fit the name into. You can kind of see a lot of the lines on there. The name will go long ways across it on the inside and I'll probably put something on the back side after it's cut out. I may have to cut it in half to get it into the scroll saw and I may do some of it with the jigsaw but this is what we're going to try to cut.
I got the name stained and I got the back plate stained. This pallet board really took that stain a little darker than I was hoping. But I think I'll still be able to work with it. That back plate is a lighter stain and that's why I wanted to darken that one so it'd be the name would be more visible on it. I'm gonna do this in a two-part series because I'm still trying to figure out what to do to do to it. I had wanted to run a piece of trim around this edge to hide the crack where I glued them back together because I didn't I don't know, maybe I didn't get it squeezed tight enough or whatever. That crack shouldn't have been that visible, but it is. So I wanted to run some trim, but when I tried to square cut it, I got this side slightly thicker than that side. And you can even see a cut right there where I messed up. There's not really nothing I can do about that now. I hate that that's there, but I mean, I can't do much about it. But I'm still trying to figure out how I can run a piece of trim around there. It's real thin on this, end, on this side and not on this side. Which isn't a big deal except for wanting to put the trim around it. But anyway, I'm going to let this stain dry up. I still got to figure out how to get it straight across there. And get it glued on there. And then go from there. So we'll see you on the next part of it. The, the video is just running kind of long. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in a two-part series. We'll see you on the next one.